A local mother who spent more than a decade in prison for the killing of her boyfriend may be headed back. Kimberly Long was exonerated nearly two years ago. But as CBS 2's Randy Page reports, a battle over her first lawyer may take her away from her two kids. Today, three judges on a California appellate court heard oral arguments limited to one specific legal question. Was Kimberly Long's attorney so ineffective that her exoneration should stand? Another judge has already made up his mind on that question. Patrick Majors heard all of the evidence against Long when he presided over her two criminal trials involving the 2003 murder of Long's boyfriend, Ozzie Condi, one ending in a mistrial, the second in a conviction. Judge Majors also received new evidence gathered by the California Innocence Project in an appeal of her conviction in 2016. His conclusion? Considering all the evidence, the court finds it highly unlikely that the petitioner committed the crime. Then in February, Judge Majors weighed in again. Based upon the evidence, she's probably innocent. But Long's exoneration was based on the question of whether her original attorney did an adequate job defending her. Today, one of the three appellate judges suggested if Judge Majors, who presided over the criminal trials, was convinced Kimberly Long was innocent, her defense attorney must have done a good job. So her conviction should stand and she could go right back to prison. So if the trial court was convinced, doesn't that mean that the defense attorney did an excellent job? So this is basically judges debating about whether the trial lawyer did a good enough job. They're not debating whether or not Kimberly Long is innocent. And California Innocence Project Director Justin Brooks says if the Court of Appeals reinstates Kimberly Long's conviction, her last remaining hope would be a pardon from Governor Jerry Brown. In Riverside, Randy Page, CBS2 News.